unfortunately, I was in the ring with Larry when he passed away. And uh, I'll, I'll never forget the night that he passed away. I, I was distraught. I went, when they got, got him out the ring with the ambulance crew, took him backstage and I went back to, to see how he was and he was already dead. Mm. And uh, I I'd spent the night driving around Bremen, just driving and driving and driving. And uh, the next day I was billed against Finley in a championship match. And Otto said to me the, the morning when I finally got the courage to get into my bed in the caravan, Otto called me into his office and said, did I want to cancel the match against Finley that night with Larry just dying? And I said, no, Otto. I said, Larry wouldn't want that. I don't want it. The show must go on. And it was hard. And Finley and I wrestled 12, three minute round draw. Uh, but it did the world of good for me to get it out of my system. And, uh, but that's how it was, you know. Sure. And Larry passed away um, in between rounds, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually hit him with a, a clothesline and he, he went down, but very strangely. And I went back to the, the corner and then I, I suddenly look, looked around and the referee was down trying to uh, wake him and I knew he was dead then. And I, I signaled that they, they come with a stretcher because they, they weren't on top of the ball with medical care in, in autos or German promoters. That they had two Red Cross ambulance men who, who didn't know a thing what to do. Uh, and by the time an ambulance came, he was cold. And, uh, that's yeah. a shame. That's a shame. I, 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 I'm, I'm sure you recognize Luther Lindsay. I was in Charlotte the night that Luther Lindsay died in a match. One of the most devastating nights that I've ever seen, too. 